everybody. I'm your host, Kenda, and this is my and my own podcast. What day is it? Is it Thursday? It's Thursday. It's Thursday. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> almost friday oh yes it's friday yes, yes. eve definitely friday eve i love it i love it <laughs> and we've been getting some beautiful weather too here so yeah. i've been liking it i've been liking it uh on and off rain that part is a little bit and today is windy it's a bit much yeah. it's yeah. always like every time i straighten my hair it wants to rain it rains yes. and then the humidity mm-hmm. is ridiculous right. but enough of that that's girl shit <laughs> <laughs> um i want to introduce y'all to some amazing ladies drum roll Starting off with my panel podcast members, my girls, Nicole and Ruthia. How y'all doing? Let's. I'm good or whatever. Let's go. <laughs> I'm about to clap for y'all. <laughs> hey. And we got our special guest today, Erica. Good to see you, Erica. Thank hey, you for coming. Me. I'm about to clap. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. So today, this is a um, a really dope topic to me. Um, being a woman and loving style and loving fashion and everything evolving. And I'm always trying to find pieces, put pieces together. Everybody can use a little bit of help with fashion. Everybody can use a little bit of help, help with style. And you ladies, y'all got it. Y'all got it. Um, you're a designer. Yes. Erica is a designer. And Nicole and Ruthia are both models, um, which is dope, which is so dope. I don't know if y'all seen the, the pictures on the flyer, but they was looking, they was looking really, really good. <laughs> when they sent me the pictures, I'm like, okay, okay, let's fucking go. Cause what? A lot of people ain't fucking with y'all. So mm, just a little rap. <laughs> <laughs> right. Nothing too much. Y'all are very talented. Uh let me tell y'all, we did a uh a photo shoot for our, our team, the panel. Um, and they had all the, the poses, and I'm like, dang, wait, can we do this over? Because I, I didn't know how to do none of that. Like, wait, wait a minute. Man, they was giving, they was serving. We all like, okay, okay, we can learn a thing or two for sure, for sure. So that's that's why I really wanted to bring everybody together today on this episode because I feel like we all have a lot to offer each other. Be and women also we all love fashion we all love to look nice and beautiful and we like to help other people so i mean this is a great opportunity for us to help other people um and also you know help them to be their most creative selves when it comes to getting themselves ready every day um or if they're looking to audition for an upcoming event and they just need some tips for style or even if they're like a content creator or something and they like to right. do those those get ready with me's and mm-hmm. they don't really know what they're doing and um so yeah let's 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 dive into it so um Erica tell everybody a little bit about you so I'm Erica um I'm a designer and I have a big passion for fashion I also make jewelry nice Nice. Um, I started off actually doing jewelry first, and then I got into clothes. Um, twenty nine years old, and this is my first po- podcast. Yay! Okay. <laughs> What's your brand? It's called JLX Couture. Okay. Yes, and that's actually when I first recognized you on social media. I'm like, she got the poses. Okay. <laughs> then I'm oh like, yeah, I do model my own like clothes and jewelry, and I make it. So it be, it's a lot. Yeah, um, yeah, and you dope. You thank dope. You. I've been I I've been peeping you for a while. Yeah. Um, I went on your, I used your website link. I went and checked you out there. I seen there some of the is. pieces that you got. And I'm like, what a dope collaboration could that be? Right. You know what I mean? She but, showed me on. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Right. <laughs> Someone in the background helping us out. Uh, but yes, and another really cool thing that I noticed about you is that you got an upcoming event that's highlighting you as a designer. Let's talk about yes. that. So it's Fashion Con. That's also going to be my first like fashion show that I'll be featured in. So Yay. I'm just really excited. When I came in, they was like, we thought you was one of the models. They so they like, you could do both. I'm like, oh, look. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going as a designer. I mean, if ever so happened that I could do that, I would. But to be honest, like, I'm actually kind of like, I don't know. I never did runway. Mm-hmm. Like, I take pictures and everything, and I can do that. But runway, I'll be like, okay, hold on. People probably wouldn't think that because I'm confident, but 
I feel like once I hit the stage, though, I'll be like, my alter ego will kick in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <For sure. laughs> 100%. Yeah. 100%. Sure. I mean, you, you've I done say, it before. Mm-hmm. Can yeah, y'all touch on that? Like the differences between runway modeling and then just like doing like pictures. Pictures and okay. yeah, like magazines. Yeah, and for sure. So for me personally, I'm more of a runway model. Okay. Um, okay. Doing like photos, like I'll do it, but that's not really where my passion is. My passion is really the runway being the hanger for the clothes yes. okay. more than um, actually, you know, taking the pictures. With Thea, she got Goodbye. a boat. <laughs> Let's she got go. a boat with you, but that's okay because that's yeah. what it is. You, I, I know what I love to do yeah, and that's what I do and that's where my passion is and, you know, yes, yeah. what I do. I love it. I mean, I've dabbled in both <laughs> runway and print, but I'm more of a runway girl. Mm-hmm. So, um, but if somebody asks me, I'm going to pose them down. Man. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I feel. Like, if y'all want me to do the runway, I'll do it. But, yeah, pictures is my thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you do a really, really good job. All you ladies. I mean, like, ooh, I wish I could do that. I'm... <laughs> mm. <laughs> It also comes with being comfortable with the photographer and the, the setting as well. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Sure. What, some of the photographers, you'd be like, sir. The vibe gotta <laughs> it gotta all connect together. Mm-hmm. It absolutely does. I did a photo shoot about two weeks ago and it was it was everybody vibe good. Because if wow. you got one person mm-hmm. to set it off, it's right. Nobody picture is really gonna be good because you just wow. it, it's the a energy. vibe in the mm-hmm. whole yep. the whole set. Yeah. And even though we were all in different places doing different things, you still could feel that anywhere you go. And nobody was beefing, nobody was arguing, everybody was working together. And you could hear people encouraging, all right, hey girl, let me fix your hair. Right. You know what? You got a hole right here. You know what I mean? Yeah. So everybody was helping everybody, everybody was loving each other. And so when we're slowly getting the pictures back, and you could see it in the pictures. I love you it. You know how if, if the energy was high. Right. How how do you get up the courage? Because I feel like it takes a lot of confidence and it definitely takes the courage. How do y'all not have a million things going through y'all head as y'all doing it and still delivering what needs to give? Like, cause it's got to give. When yeah, you there. it got to give. Well, she yeah. said it. it. It's the alter ego for sure. Yeah, that it's is the my alter. alter the so person behind the camera. Ego? That's not even me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's not. Who is she? <laughs> like my alter ego don't have a name, but I just know that when I get ready to hit the runway. It's I something actually, you feel like. Yeah, I actually don't think about anything. Like my, wow. I make my mind almost blank, mm-hmm. and I go like into a tunnel because I've been in shows where like my family will be there, and after they'll be like, "You didn't hear us yelling your name?" No, wow. I don't hear music. Mm-hmm. I don't hear people. I'm literally. It's almost like my ears and my eyes. Everything is off. Like I'm wow. just really focused on. What it is that I'm supposed to be What's doing. in front of you? I love that. I want to be like that. <laughs> you just have I to can't do I it. hear everything. Mm-hmm. You just have to do it, right. keep trying, and it'll come to you. Wow. Wow. I'll, it's not for me. It's not for me. But it's dope for y'all for sure. I'm the nervous one. Like, really? Backstage, she'll tell you, they be like, girl, get it together. I'm back there sweating and I can't read. But when oh, you hit the stage, so nobody would know. Stage, yeah. I, growing up, I was on. a tomboy. And everybody's be like, stop being a time boy. You might want to be a model one day. And I'm like, that'll never be me. And my aunt, I hated my name. So my aunt was like, your name's going to be in lights. So my alter ego is Ruthie the model. I because love I that. I wanted to love more of my name and who I am. So literally it was just like, when I hit that stage, baby, it's me. It's the I'm the Beyonce in the room. Let's go. Right. I still get nervous. So here we go. Yeah, yes. absolutely. So, yeah. And then for me, it's like <laughs> some shows I'm more nervous than others, and I don't know why. Some shows I don't be nervous at all. I'll be like, oh, okay. But then I get to another show, and my legs will start shaking, yeah. like oh. literally shaking. And I'm like, like when I went to New York, I I didn't know how I was gonna walk. My legs <laughs> was like rubber, See. but literally I went into that mode. Didn't remember nothing until I was done. Oh my god! Mm-hmm. <laughs> how many cue y'all to go out when I? You know it's, it's somebody your turn. There. It's somebody. Oh. It's somebody. They sometimes. line you up. So oh, well, wow. in most of the shows, I mean, they they the designer lines up, but yeah, they line the models up in the order they want them to go. Okay. And so someone is either there, like go go, but then also we've been doing this for long enough. Right. Know, you should you practice your too. Right, and they'll tell you too, like we By don't the time that model ever get want there. the stage you to, need be to be empty, right. or some some designers like I only want you there. Yeah. So you literally are going to wait till the person come back, and then you're going to go. That's what we heard. So you just for. know. Mm-hmm. 
I love it. I love it. Well, let me ask y'all some more questions because I, I love this. So what inspired you guys to get into fashion? Like, what was it when you just were like, yes, this is this is something I just I love and I got to have it as a part of my life always. Like, what did it? I wouldn't always. I'm still a, I'm doing this for fun. I yeah. think if I would make it more of a career, it would become more like a job. To okay. Me. Um, I actually was playing around uh, me and my sister in Mayfair, and that's when it was like glamour shots. And um, oh, I remember those. It, it was another <laughs> place. Uh, oh. Um, they was in there, and they was just me and my sister was playing, and we was model walking <laughs> through the mall, and, and they literally grabbed me. Was like, oh, you should come. They paid for my senior pictures, and. Wow. Um, they 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 wanted to sign me, but I did a uh, was it Casablanca or something? Casablanca. My daughter did that. that. Yeah. I did a, a, a spread <laughs> in JC Penny, and I was in high school, and I was like, "This is boring," because I had to <laughs> I had to go through all of the classes and the training, and I'm like, "Can I just put on some sweatpants?" Now? <laughs> so it was a lot of work for me then, but then I took a, a nice break, and then I don't know, I went somewhere and I seen a flyer, and I was like, "They want fat girls? Oh, I'm there." <laughs> And literally, it just kind of stuck. You know what? <laughs> that is that. I love how you said, like, you know what? <laughs> I didn't want it, <laughs> but you just kind of it just kind of grew on you. Mm-hmm. That's dope. What about you, Nicole? My mother was a fashionista. Oh, she always we would we talk about we used to talk about her say she always had on bells and whistles because she go <laughs> do it from the top to the bottom. <laughs> you know, so growing up seeing that, but then. When I was um, younger, of course, I was a taller girl, but at that time I was like really, really slim. So, of course, people were like, you should model, you should do this. So my mom signed me up for back then. I think it was like John Robert Powers or something. Oh, okay. So I started I with that. And then um, when I think I was about 13 or 14. And then, then I, at 16, had a baby. Mm-hmm. So then I, I didn't model for a long time. So when my children became older and they grew up, then I got back into to it but the reason I got back into it was because I remember being my height like a size two mm-hmm. and somebody telling me two. you too skinny right what? then now through life I have kids mm-hmm. and, and then now is you too fat mm-hmm. so like I wanted to model to show people like it's not it's not about your size like mm-hmm. I've been uh, from this size all the way to this size right and it's about me yeah mm-hmm. it's not about what you think about me it's not about being a size two or being a size 20 it's about my confidence it's about my love for fashion and it's about showing other people that you could do whatever you want to do no matter your size your age or whatever because that's another thing i'm older a lot of people don't know that um they think that i'm in the age with the 30 year olds i'm not she looks like girl. So, you look like it, right? You look good. I'm some. I'm, I got three grandchildren. You know what I mean. My children are adults. That's even. That makes but, it even doper. Like, yeah. <laughs> but most people don't know unless wow. I tell my age. People don't know. Wow. You know my age. So it's it's showing that that you could do whatever it is you want to do at any age, any size. Facts. Just do it. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Can I clap? Because. <laughs> <laughs> Encouraging both of you, Erica. What's up? <laughs> Tell me. Okay, so I'm gonna <laughs> piggyback off of her because I actually was a tomboy too. Yeah. So, like I told you before, my parents have 13 kids, like same mom and dad, and I was the only girl for about seven years. Wow. So, like, I was always <laughs> around my brothers. Yeah. Um. So I wasn't. I was girly when I was little because of my mom, but then as I grew up, I was like a tomboy playing basketball, football mm-hmm. with my brothers. And then she was like, okay, you need to, like, still be a little girly, you know? So she started introducing me into stuff. But I also modeled as a little girl for JCPenney, too. Mm-hmm. Um, so That's I feel cool. like it kind of was natural for me. But I had a phase where it was like, okay, well, I'm a tomboy. Yeah. So I wasn't really into it. But then I came as years went by. Now I'm girly, but I'm still a tomboy too. Like that's why I feel like I'm so versatile. Like I can do all different looks. Yeah. Dress down, dress up, heels, no heels. Like I like some of everything. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's basically how that got started for me. And then I started off with jewelry first. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was doing that since I was little. I would make bracelets and stuff for my friends at school and just give them away. But then one day I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was just it was for fun to me, like right. at first. But then when I had my daughter. Um, I was like, 
I'm going to start selling this because I need to make mm-hmm. some money. So yeah. that's pretty much what happened. And then um, clothes, I just started about four years ago. And it's been up and stuck ever since. <laughs> wow. Now, when you say clothes, what type of clothes are you currently uh, promoting? Like, what is what type of clothes are your passion right now? So my brand is JLX Couture. Um, couture to me means just like high fashion, luxury, quality, mm-hmm. anything. And that could be anything, but I'm also very versatile with it. Mm-hmm. Um, and I feel like right now, what am I into? I just like to pop right now. Like when I pop out, I be like, I need to go crazy. Like that's how I feel in my mind. So I'm all about things that pop right now. Like that red dress I had on in the flyer. Yeah. I usually don't even wear red, but I've been feeling like pop. And what better color to wear if you want to pop? Yeah, red. yeah. So you like loud colors and prints? Yes. Um, I don't know. Prints, I'll say I'll do if it's like um, maybe, what do they call that? When it's like the... um. For your outfit, the thing that pops. I'm, it's a oh, word I'm looking for. Mm. A statement piece. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do prints, but I'm not that into like the whole thing being prints. I don't do that too much, but I will. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like that. And would you customize or do something for somebody, a special look for them right now? Oh, yeah. I love mm-hmm. that. I love custom is all I really do, to be honest. Or like yeah. I'll um, transform a piece into something else. Mm. That's I just dope. always want it like to that. be unique. Like, it always got to be something unique about what I got on. It's hard for me to be, like, regular, per mm-hmm. se. So now, <laughs> when the panel hits the road, we going to need a stylist. I and, got uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> we're we to plan a whole fashion show. Yes, we're going to have. I can see this being, yes, this collaboration is long term. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> that's dope. That's dope. Uh, so how long did you say you've been doing fashion for now? I'll say about four years. Like, I had practice first before I was, like, I sew. Like, I was not going to just come out like, I'm a designer. Like, no. (laughs) So, I was practicing first. And then, like, I'll make something and post it. Like, just made this my first top. Like, what do y'all think? You know how they do the polls and stuff? Mm -hmm. And then, eventually, I made my first dress, I think, for my 26th birthday. Wow. And I was so nervous to pop out with it. But I did. And then, ever since then, Mm -hmm. can't tell me nothing now. I (laughs) love it. I love it. I got to clap for you too. Period. Thanks for clapping in, guys. We got a couple people in the comments over here. My sis Tika, shout out Tika, comedian Tika G. She said, "Let's go," and you know we going, sis. We going, we going hard. (laughs) Uh, Brittany, she said, "Period." Yes, thank you so much for tapping in. (laughs) And we got a. Uh, funny ass up top, JJ. What's good? What's good? What's good? Talk about looking good for her age. Hey, she tell her again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I want to ask y'all some more questions. So, what are some of y'all short term and long term goals for what you're doing right now? Um, for me, um, I'm gonna continue modeling. I actually have um quite a few shows coming up. Yeah, but I have not been modeling in the city. Okay. Um, I actually been modeling out doing more in Chicago. Okay. Um, I am I'm going to Detroit and Canada wow. in August, and then I'm doing District of Curves in DC in July. Let's go. Okay. Nicole. <laughs> it's the schedule for me. That's so dope. Yeah, August and busy. literally happened within the last like like week or two. So wow. That's um, but coming up next year, which I am currently working on, is I'm actually going to be producing. My own fashion show. And so I think About I kind of want to go. I've been working on it. I want to kind of go <laughs> maybe on the production side. Yeah. And then also, um, um, you know, t- you know, showing other models that, again, age, size, height, none of that matters. But I'm going to pre- be producing the show. My mother died of pancreatic cancer. Um, oh. It'll be 10 years in um, January of 2025. So in August of 2025, I am producing a show. Um, um, it's called Common Threads Wow! Um, because cancer is a common thread for all of us. I know everybody in this room knows somebody that died from cancer. Yes. Um, we all know somebody, right? And it's yeah. all affected us in some form or fashion. Um, so I'm putting that together um, to, to get out that awareness about cancer. So I'm going to be highlighting seven different cancers. So I'm going to be looking for seven different designers. So that'll be coming up. Also, the designers are going to be picking their models. And we're not doing all of that, but it's going to be a whole big... Um, 
production. So that's coming up um, next year. So congratulations, okay. congratulations on all those things. That is amazing, girl. I can't yeah. wait to be in your show. I, I'm about to clap. <laughs> <laughs> What you got? <laughs> um, That's dope. So a long term goal, I definitely want to be featured for Fendi. Like, I have to be on either her runway, like her campaign, something because Brianna gonna will. see me. Um, I, I just want to continue to strive to be the face for another young lady mm-hmm. or yes. an older lady that, that sees me and be like, I can do that too. Um, I've been blessed enough to where I haven't had to audition. Um, wow. For plenty of shows. I'll show up to audition. They'd be like, girl, you in the show. Like, <laughs> you're good that. to go. So I've had people reach out to me recently. Um, unfortunately, I can't do the upcoming show because I'll be out of town. But um, a show I, I did last year, the lady just hit me up. was like, I need you. I got a show coming up. Um, I'm always uh, working with um, John Ray Sowers. Yes. Mm-hmm. She has the huge uh, Divas Brunch. Um, it's usually in July. This year it's going to be in August. Nice. Um, so I'll be doing that. And that is already sold out. Like 500 people. Yep. Wow. Uh, oh. Shout out to John Ray. Yeah, yes, shout out. Uh, I think it's the Black Arts Festival. I'm doing a show there. Um, someone just hit me up for a show out of town. I got to make sure my dates can line up. But yeah, I got a couple things moving, but okay. I just want to, I want to keep going um, because my son also dabbles mm-hmm. here and there when he ain't got an attitude, but <laughs> uh, my son, I've gotten him into fashion. Um, but like, I think we all should do as a model, we should also be familiar with the production side. So eventually, yeah. you know, and I've, I've done some model coaching too. So mm-hmm. I think I will more so do the coaching versus the. The production part. I can totally see that. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. I can see you having I've done, a school. I've done like, some, some some shows where I went to model and they was like, "Yeah, we need you to coach too." That's dope. Congratulations. <laughs> tell me, tell me, tell me. What about you? Short term, long term goals. Okay, so. First of all, a lot of stuff has been happening for me that I manifested and it's happening like back to back. Like, first of all, I always wanted to like start a podcast. So to yeah. be on one is just you crazy. No and I never knew. You, you messaged me out the blue. So I was just like, I mean, yeah, like, why not? Yes. And I'm also the type of person where I'm really confident, but I'll only be scared when I do it the first time. And then after that, it's because mm-hmm. it's something new that's all yeah mm-hmm. right. but so that and i'm here now um <laughs> also to be in a fashion featured in a fashion show that's coming up now so it's like yes. everything is just coming um one thing i want to do before summer is over is have a um pop-up shop and i want it to be I like, like but i want it to be lit like because i don't like when stuff be boring i want yeah. people to have fun <laughs> right. um and i want it to be like a 90s barbecue thing so you mm. can come even if you don't buy nothing you can come and you can still network type of thing so I like, like manifest that yes um i'm not afraid to manifest that because anybody can have a 90s party it's not just like it's just for me you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so that's pretty much like my short term goals right now long term i want to travel more and i want to network more and meet more people yeah. than just like milwaukee i love it mm-hmm. and that all of that's gonna happen for you yes yeah. <laughs> you still I feel it. absolutely girl you you still rising Mm-hmm. It don't stop. Like I'm, I'm very impressed with you, ladies. Mm-hmm. I would not see you. <laughs> so let's let's help the audience a little bit, y'all. Mm-hmm. So I'm seeing a lot of TikToks and things where everybody's doing to get ready with me. Do y'all do anything like that where y'all are creating content so that you create a different type of audience? Y'all don't do that. No, How I about do. you? I'm not, I'm not a content creator. I'm too lazy. <laughs> no, it takes a lot. It it's takes a lot, a lot of work. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Can you give? Some I don't tips? feel like I can. Okay. I don't always feel like doing it, but it's like that's when you need to do it. Yeah. Usually, when I don't feel like doing something, that's when I get the most like. Um, do you know what I'm trying to say? But that's when I get the most feedback mm-hmm. when I didn't feel like doing it. So, um, for me, I do. I try to do some of everything. Um, like I started doing get ready with me's and then like outfit of the days. I do voiceover. Sometimes I talk in the video just to like gravitate everyone's attention and see what works. 
Mm-hmm. Recently, um, I didn't think people would like when I talk because I feel like I talk a lot. <laughs> no, but I started great doing these talk. things called real spills. That's what I called them. Okay, and I started doing it because of the fact that I wanted to like start a podcast or even be in one. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, maybe if I just start talk- talking about a random topic in videos that'll gravitate people. So I did it, and those are the videos that get the most views. Wow. So I need to actually do another one soon. But yeah, what else? What are some things that you can recommend for people to do to have those successful types of videos and to put that out there? Um, I would say push through when you don't feel like doing it. Um, be you and don't really care about what people think. Like yes. post what you want to post. I love it. I love it. Do you have like a preferred place to do your videos right now? Um, I try to switch it up, honestly, because I don't like I don't want to seem come off boring because I'm really not. Yeah. So I do some of everything or I just make sure the background is clean or like people have been telling me they want to see like the process of how I do it because mm. I take a lot of my own pictures and videos and stuff. Um, So I try to show the process a little bit. Yeah. Um, But I like being outside, inside. It don't matter. I love it. Are there any like tools that you can recommend right now that you're using or are you just using your phone? My phone. So uh, then I got a ring light, I got a backdrop, and um, what's the thing called tripods? Yeah, and stuff up. I just do it the best way I can and get it done. Those are good tips, though. A lot of people don't know. They probably got one. People things. ask me who <laughs> like takes your pictures, and sometimes I'll have somebody take them, but I'm wrong. Like, like <laughs> nowadays, man. yeah, these things getting it. Yeah, I was just talking to somebody the other day. Like, I asked, I'm like, do you miss the flip phones? They like, no, because a lot of people <laughs> making them jokes. Oh my God. <laughs> Imagine texting on the oh my god, I could not anymore. I used to have the one that slide um both the ways. Side I thought kick. I was so cool. Yes. <laughs> I thought I was cool too. <laughs> Cause it had the keyboard. Yep. I had the little LG sidekick. Yes. Oh man, I thought that was everything. And then when we first got these, I was like, what the hell? Where the buttons at? <laughs> right. Yes. Blackberry. Yes. Ooh. Oh my god. I thought I was somebody. Yes. <laughs> That is hilarious. But yeah, I'm 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 thankful for the new technology because now we're walking around yeah. with computers and we can mm-hmm. do more do stuff. So much. We can literally work from our phone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You literally working for yourself. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, so tell me a little bit about like what you would tell somebody right now who wants to get into this. Like, what would you say are some of these okay. of where you've gotten? So starting off, first of all, I wouldn't just go off saying it's easy because it's not. It Mm -hmm. becomes easier, but like it's a whole process. You start and you have to push yourself to not give up. That's the whole thing about it. Like when I first started someone because I taught myself and I just watched YouTube, I I just did it. Like I would mess up. That's how I learned Mm -hmm. by messing up. Mm -hmm. Like I would sell something the wrong way and be like, but I wouldn't give up. I'm like, okay, since I did it that way, I know to do it the opposite way. Mm -hmm. And that's how I learned. And I'm still learning now, but like I do everything faster now from my mess ups in the past. Yeah, if that makes sense. It does make sense. So that's pretty much what I would say. Also, practice makes perfect. Um, and you can put things out before you perfect it, but I would say still like at least practice and have a plan on what you're gonna do before you put it out, and make sure like you're serious about it. Yeah. Did you have to go get some type of training, or did you watch a YouTube video? Did your grandma show you how YouTube, to YouTube? Um. To be honest, my sister started off with a sewing machine. Okay. And I'm like, because I was do- just doing jewelry, but I always loved clothes. I just didn't make them. Mm-hmm. So I was like, um, how you do that? You know, the stitch and I had her show me the basic stitch. And I'm like, she said she wasn't going to do it no more. And I was like, girl, let me see what I can do. <laughs> right. So I was practicing on hers. And then I eventually got my own when I was like, I actually want to do this. Like, it happened out of nowhere, honestly. I just started no, making stuff. already in there. You just hadn't tapped into it. Yeah. I didn't know I was going to. Creativity was already there. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, that's amazing. Like, man, what? So. <laughs> it's a process, but anybody can do it. You just got to. 
I've been wanting to learn how to crochet because I love them little crochet. Book I do want to learn. People be asking me that. I'm like, y'all want me to do she everything. She said, mm, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, that. I need some crochet booty shorts. Yeah. No, Jamila is going to hurt you. You are not getting <laughs> no. When you learn to crochet, please hit us up because we is all about the crochet. Like, I want to learn because I feel like it will go hand in hand with what I do. Yeah. I be seeing the outfits, but I don't see nobody that's actually doing it. Y'all know they be uh, sharing them threads and stuff. Yeah. I'm like, okay, who's Who making they, it though? Who doing it? <laughs> right. The, did you see the do-rags that are made out of the crochet yeah. material? Yeah. Like, those are so cute. They be making Girl. anything out of crochet. When I yes. find it, I'm going to send it to you. I've seen the, the, um, the thigh high socks. Here. She crochets, but she does. Oh, earrings. Too. Okay. <laughs> and the, the no, hats. I think her sister does the hats. They she she it. does oh, okay. that, but she her sister is the one who does it the most. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. She I, made I me no shorts. My aunt. She's not gonna make, make you shorts, fam. Oh, <laughs> she's not gonna make her shorts. Yeah. Point to his ass. What's up, Q? So we got Q uh, from Best of the Best TV, Mr. Shut Up and Hustle. Uh -huh. <laughs> also one of our family members of the panel podcast group, and he says, "I'll definitely help with those ideas." Um, he says, hey, squad, hey, voiceover hey. is needed these ways, and where to find you? Oh, he's interested in finding you, girl. Me? <laughs> find you. He might need some help. So <laughs> come to the panel event on the 13th. Or the voice you hear in the background <laughs> is, uh, <laughs> it's called death. Yes, yes. Yeah, you, we'll introduce you. She coming to the show, Q. She coming to the show. <laughs> and audience, in case you're wondering what I'm talking about, <laughs> it might as well slide that you're in. Right. Uh, yes, the panel pod is having an event June the 3rd from 6 to 10 p.m. at Kinky's Lounge. Uh, make sure y'all come. I'll give y'all just a little bit of spill. Um, the first hour, mingle, drinks, eat, get your hookah, get comfy. We are going to pod with y'all and engage with y'all. Y'all will have opportunities to join in on a conversation. And Nicole is emceeing. Me and Ruth, they are on the panel that day. I'm super excited. So y'all y'all come. Y'all come support. And I want to hear what you got to say. It's going to be dope vibes all the way through. Um, at the end, you guys will be able to take pictures with us. And we're going to leave you with some homework to take with you. Uh, just to kind of keep that 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 mind going and thinking about, you know, the topic at hand. And we're going to be talking about resentment and regret. Um, I think that's a dope topic. Mm -hmm. I actually was going to just touch on it just a little bit because uh, we have you here. Is there anything within your career or in your careers right now that you resented? Anything at all? Mm -hmm. She like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been afraid to get out there. Um, okay, yeah. I, I went to that. an audition, and that audition we were expecting a special guest from out of state, and she was running late. But then it was another audition across town that we all wanted to go to. Yeah, so we just all picked up from one audition and went to the other one. Um, and I was scared once the special guest, Linda Scott. I think mm -hmm. that's her name from uh, yeah. Houston. Mm -hmm. yeah. And she picked me out and was like, I need you in Houston with me. And I was scared and I didn't go. Like when oh I said I was scared, God. I hid in the back yeah. of the crowd. She was wow. like, what was the chocolate girl with the big red hair? And I was like, don't find me, don't find me, don't find me. Oh. So um, I, regret, to her. I regret not getting myself out there more yeah. um i was afraid because i'm, I'm new to this and mm -hmm. i didn't think i was good enough and i'm like well if i go and she liked me and then i somebody else out there like, like i'm gonna keep going i got a child at home yeah um, so i was I'm, i regret definitely I, at Listen, the time he wasn't he a grown man i just you know <laughs> i'm a parent first so, yeah um i've been in new york and literally somebody was like i need you and i'm like can't like so i regret being scared oh yeah, you know I, I i appreciate you sharing that with us yeah. but yeah but you coming a long way though now some of those fears have uplifted mm -hmm. right yeah because you ready to go you, you need my go. bag or you gonna just uh <laughs> I just get it. Right. i'm like let's do it yes and i love how you told her reach back out reach yeah. back out reach i'm pretty sure she understands because she, she has lots a lot of connections and she will definitely connect that was why i was scared yeah i'm out of, I'm out of her in houston as well so she's gonna be like reach back out to her. and then next yes. you're going to la and then next yeah so. seriously 
Seriously. I can understand, though. You got some anxiety there, is what it sounds like, with the travel piece and then all that yeah. networking and stuff can and them be Them little people, them strangers. Yeah, yeah. And then you uh, you kind of being vulnerable at yeah. that yeah. moment, yeah, pursuing sure. those dreams and goals, too. So it's like, geez. Like, do I leave everything I already have here, here and yeah. go and then I'm good? But you don't look at it that way because you got to think about that's the same thing in your regular everyday job. You mm-hmm. can go I get a job they would and me. then after <laughs> or two years be like, hey, the company closed and we done. We don't need you. It's the same thing. Plus, yes. you also know, you never know what will happen in that time or who you will meet. So that's it's true. not exactly. more so about the time span because you might meet Rihanna. <laughs> like, you started out doing one show. In that show, Three Rebirth designers thing. saw you and said, hey, we like, I'm just making a number. I don't know if that's the right number. And then you went to the next show and then three more designers and three. And then that's how you to where you That are first show here. definitely birthed right. a lot of business mm-hmm. for Exactly me, for sure. So yeah. don't look at it like that because like not trying, mm-hmm. that's where the failure is. Mm-hmm. Not putting yeah. it out there, that's where the failure is. So yeah, don't look sure. at it that way. And she I, gonna keep and you and on I your toes. You gotta, I'm like, okay, I know that you have a village and a community that will help you with son. Mm-hmm. Son, I'm gonna be like, I'm coming you know, too. Absolutely. Or that. Mm-hmm. You know, he want to model with you. <laughs> you have a community, so that's not something you need to necessarily worry about. You need to go on out there because for me, my regret is I wish I would have kept going um, when I was younger mm-hmm. and not wait till i get older and now i'm back in because of course it's gonna make it harder for me because you know even i know people don't know my age but in Mm -hmm. auditions they they ask you yeah they want you on this paper to say your age and sometimes they'll be like well okay she don't look that age but she is and then they'll tell me no we're sorry because you you just never know what they're looking for to this age and i'll see auditions on stuff and they'll say oh we only we want people from 18 to 35. i'm out so, but I, but you have to just. So I just, yeah. You know, I ain't gonna. I've definitely. Say I ain't never lied. <laughs> I really, I really don't like that they even really consider age. Like in this day and age, like yeah. why? Like because people, I feel like the coolest thing about what y'all do is that y'all can really capture beauty in any yeah. element of its time. Exactly. Like, and it can fit what you need it to fit. You just need to <laughs> figure out what, what works. Like, so like. I, I feel like a lot of them got some growing up to do too. Yeah, but people, yeah. but you have to also remember, like your people aesthetic like what they everybody. like. Everybody yeah, yeah. yeah, your aesthetic is your aesthetic. There are designers out here; they only like. I'm all right with that. Yeah, you know, or you have other ones who only want plus models, right. and so then now the the thin girls are a fit. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's just like we have to respect people's aesthetics and aesthetics and what people want Absolutely. so you know it don't, and just not get really discouraged bother. by it because it's like yeah okay. you don't get discouraged because i've been in i've been in a situation where i was discouraged uh one of the, the first time i went to new york um for a fashion show now this show was supposed to be about like arts and culture mm-hmm. so to me the size really doesn't matter right yeah so we do the runway and this one particular designer she had all her models mixed up so we were all heights all sizes all colors all everything right Mm -hmm. when the film came back the photographers did not take a single picture of any of the plus size girls none of us got pictures none of us nobody took a picture of us just wasted the time but they were pretending (sighs) but when we got the film back because they sent all the film you will see like the girl in front of me was a thin girl. She had a picture. The girl behind me, two more girls than the other fat girl. She didn't have no picture. So none of the big girls wow. had pictures. I wonder why couldn't they just tell y'all from jump? Like we are only looking for this. Right. Instead you gotta, of wasting it, it makes a difference like if it's the designers that's picking, the production mm-hmm. that's picking. And right. who the photographers are. Because some photographers are just there just to do photography and they don't care. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm, I'm mm-hmm. doing my job, but if a production team and the production team is like, we're picking the models, and then the designers come in and they pick from what we've picked, mm-hmm. but oh, then you okay. get picked by the production, and then it's like, like, but under the designer. 
I swallowed it. Wow. So, you know, it kind of yeah. makes that even more, more awkward too. Yeah, so that does kind of, it can kind of mess with your esteem. But my designer I was with, she was very upset. But then the next show, I had a whole bunch of pictures. And the next show, I had a whole bunch of, you know what I mean? So yeah. this time you got to take the take the good with the bad, mm -hmm. you know? So it's kind of like, what's for you just going to be for you. That's yeah. it. And that's, that's how it is anyway. Right? Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, but then back to like, for me, for regret, other regrets. I regret um, sometimes staying in the background too much. And what I mean by that is like, when I come to a show, I come to work. Mm -hmm. I'm not coming to really necessarily um, talk, meet new friends or whatever. I'm really coming there to work. Yeah. So I'm the model that I usually, if I'm somewhere and I don't really know anybody, I stay to myself. I mind my business. I come, I do the job that I was paid to do. But in that, I found that sometimes designers <laughs> think that they can treat me any type of way. Mm. And so I regret not using my voice, but I also try to be careful with that because I know my personality mm. and I'll be chill, but I will <laughs> go to a thousand like real, real, real quick. Right. Cut you out, beat you up. And then later I'll be like, why did I do that? Cause you out there beat you up. <laughs> that's, that's that's something true. I had to yeah. learn too, mm. because people sometimes like you too chill. Like I'm just laid back. That's all. But yeah. no, this and is then not that. They, they yeah. start to take like, kind of like your kindness, your chillness or whatever for weakness. For weakness. And it's not all over you you and treat mm. you any kind of way so in that you know i've had a couple designers that i no longer will deal with or work with because of those type of things that they felt like they could play with me wow and so you ain't wrong in this where i'm at today don't play with me because yeah. i'm not doing that no more so like now you gotta you gotta come in like that me. right so away just just that For type sure. of thing like i but i allowed it so that's right. on me that's mm -hmm. something i gotta I'll take ownership of that wow well, I love how y'all yeah. that that's that's it right there. I love that because it, both of you, you say, Hey, this is I know this is this was an issue for me, or this mm -hmm. I resent this because I was part of that problem. I was the problem mm -hmm. at the time. These people were contributing to the problem, but now I know that, and so mm -hmm. no more. Yeah, and no as a more model, of that. Model and a designer, you yeah. also have to know that you are representing your own brand. Right. I'm walking there, I'm walking in there representing me and my brand. And same thing for each of you. And you have to know who you are willing to work with and who are you are Absolutely. not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you can't just be like, oh, well, I'm a model, so I gotta accept this. Bullshit. Bullshit. Absolutely. Like, you know Bullshit. what I'm saying? I've seen designers, you know what I'm saying, get trashed and be like, oh, you can't use this rack. But I'm here to do a job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. I need, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. Mm -hmm. So you gotta come in there standing on business. Yeah. So and and don't. Just like in anything in life, don't lower your standard mm -hmm. because there is a couple of brands that you can't, they can roll over here and tell me, we're going to pay you a million dollars. I'm not putting that on. I know that's I'm right. I'm not wearing that. Not because it's because it's just, it's not something I want to wear. I, that's not something that I want to represent myself as this specific thing. Right? Yeah. I, I'm not doing it. So you have to still keep your standards. You know, you don't have to... Um, you know, say, well, for the sake of, well, I want to start in my lane, so I got to start down here, so I got to wear this stuff. No, you don't. If it's ugly, I'm glad it's you ugly. said that. Or even you like, I don't like everything that designers make because that's their style, not yours. Yeah, and what y'all doing runway? I've seen shows like they do a reality show. I know y'all, y'all remember America's <laughs> Top Model mm -hmm. with Tyra. Girls was wearing shoes too little. Absolutely. Yeah, it was, I was just thinking back to that. Like they used, mm -hmm. she used to make them shave their heads sometimes. I would yeah. be like. I'm going home. <laughs> You're not about to make me change my head. Real quick. Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I watched, I really did. I watched the show and I liked it, but some of it, I'm just going to be wondering. Some of it, I felt like she was putting her insecurities on. On oh, no. girls. Yeah. Yep. That's I what I yeah. just saying. It was almost kind of degrading with yeah, certain it things. Yeah, was almost so. like hazy. You know what I mean? Yep. So I felt like some of that was just her, her internal issues that she was kind of putting on those on those girls and some of those other judges too they were just mean they were just yeah. saying some of the most meanest things um and it's like dang I, I can't believe i watched that i watched it for several seasons before mm -hmm. it, it, it went off and then like now watching it back seeing a few mm -hmm. clips i'm like damn how did i miss that thing like years later you like wait <laughs> like yeah i totally right. missed the disrespect mm -hmm. like right. <laughs> even to realizing 
to Carl. I was yeah. just about to say that. Girl, this is a fat girl. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all put her up there like as like she was just obese, like yes. she was whatever. But girl. she wasn't like y'all made her really think that she, she was, just, was. But it's, it's super super big. It's yeah, the I'm not like I'm not considered plus size. Really, In some cases I've been told like, well, you're not skinny either. So it's like, I unfortunately I have this in the middle type of thing. Yeah. And of course, to me, I'm trans slender, bitch. I'm a <laughs> slim thing. I'm identified with whatever it feels like on that day. Mm-hmm. But for me, it, it it's it's like a pat on the back, but at the same time, I feel like I got everybody looking at me because it's like you got the skinny girl saying, "Well, she don't belong over here." Then you have the more curvier, plus size girl oh, saying, it. "You know what I'm saying? You don't belong over there." Yeah. I ran a whole business that was about mm-hmm. being plus size and powerful. That's right. So for them to be like, "But you're not plus size." What do you call this? You like I'm gonna need you to shut up. Because so, I, mean, <laughs> I know what have, I am. <laughs> you do have those those things where it's like where you're kind of in the middle and you feel like you don't fit in, mm-hmm. but then you have other girls that saying like, "Well, they always picking this body type," and that was hard True. for me too because I had someone who was my friend and was like, "That's not what all plus size girls look like," and I agree 100. percent But I also know that. It also depends on who is picking the models. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. you know. Also, everybody has their own opinions to what they think right. things are. Like somebody might think something like this is burnt or mustard yellow, and somebody might think it's Let bright yellow. Say. Like <laughs> so, <laughs> we did. It's about perception. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Wait, what did you say? Um, I, I said lemon. Okay, lemon okay. Yellow. I said lemon zest. You said that's so funny. But that's, okay. but that's exactly. Everybody yeah, has their exactly. own opinion on what they think something is. So. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, what about you? Me? Yeah, so you're 29. I was, you're in design. You said, you know. You- I was thinking as they were talking, because at first I was in my head like, well, do I? I don't think I regret anything. But then again, when I thought about it, I kind of do with the whole, like, just knowing my worth. Mm. Because just starting out, I feel like I put myself too low just because I was just starting out. Mm -hmm. And it's it's like, if you have talent, you have talent. So even if you're just starting, because there's people that are have not just started and no offense, but they talent might not be all the way as to someone that did Mm -hmm. just start. Can I clap for you? Yes. So I had to just realize that, and I'm a humble person, but sometimes I'd be too humble. Like, girl, you need to still, like, recognize and give yourself credit where it's due. So I would say that kind of was a hold up for me. And then um, also, like you were talking about with people not playing with you, I feel like me being too humble, Yeah, people was just doing way too Mm -hmm. much. And I'm just like, no, because I actually don't even play like that. So, But I blame myself for it because I'm like, I shouldn't have, I know how to come off now. At first, I was just being nice, but when Mm -hmm. I saw how other people are, Mm -hmm. like, you got to realize how other people are. Everybody is not like you. So you just have to go in Mm -hmm. with that Mm -hmm. attitude, per se. Mm -hmm. Um, And I realized that that's not wrong. Yeah, Just don't play with me. You're right about about that. No matter what you're doing, nobody should be even just making... Even, even like, when you talk about, like, what people get paid or if they Mm -hmm. determine if you finna do the show for free or they want to pay the other person like even those type of things like i can see being complicated you know what i mean 90 percent of the shows if you're doing them locally here in the city of milwaukee you're not getting paid and you know what i i touched into modeling like 10 years ago i'm like oh i'm always hearing you know you know you should model and then when i was like this is not what i thought modeling was it's like, a lot of work it, it is a lot of work mm-hmm. it's definitely a lot of work if i did do anything it'd just be the print stuff you could just take mm-hmm. a good picture of me let's do it i'm gonna lay here, you <laughs> lay here. Yeah. do they do any runway where they carry you on a couch because <laughs> <laughs> that's my type of modeling mm-hmm. it's definitely <laughs> a lot of work you got rehearsals it. depending on if you're rehearsing with the group if you rehearse with your designer you got fittings and then they some people don't give you hair and makeup yeah and then it's like well i got this it's a, a lot of 
Sometimes mm-hmm. it's structure. Sometimes it's not. It can be chaos. So um, and then show day. Yeah. Show can start at seven, but baby, they're going to expect you to be there at, at six o'clock six in the morning, morning. because wow. some of them are providing hair and makeup. And then you be sitting there for hours yeah. waiting. It's, it's like hours. Mm-hmm. we got one hour before showtime. Come on. I need y'all in your first outfit. I think as a tip for anybody that's wanting to start modeling is. Come with your model bag. Know what you're supposed to have. Make sure you got your undergarments. Make sure that you got your foundation. Know how to do a basic beat. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. I do your makeup. I'm not going on nobody's runway looking like right. No. So if they couldn't do my face or you getting somebody sharing, you'd be like, first of all, never go first. <laughs> I was going to say. Yeah. So you never can see. Lying. Oh, never yeah. go first because let somebody else that's close to your skin tone or this another uh, ethnicity. Yes. Because right. listen. They don't Becky always know. Do, Becky can't do my makeup. I'm scoping the scene, and if I know it's a particular makeup artist there, that's who I want. Mm-hmm. Make make that be known, but also know to bring your own stuff just in case. Yeah. Know as well as mm-hmm. um, it's a good idea. Hair, baby. <laughs> Put a wig on. Not, Put a ponytail. Like okay, no, but and then and ask the questions though, because sometimes people will say they won't ponytails most mm-hmm. designers or production want ponytails because it's about the garment they don't want mm-hmm. your hair in your face and I what have that, you yeah. so okay. know ahead of time what don't, don't come in there with a 30 inch bust down and then get mad because something didn't go right mm-hmm. no they want ponytails now, y'all messing up my hair ask the questions mm-hmm. know right. what you're signing up for i don't want to be here all day bring some snacks that's a you good advice saying? because Cause they might come in there with a sew-in or a lace and yep, they got to take it the out their damn head because that's not the what show they want last year and that she was very specific she don't want no synthetic hair in her show well you're gonna get it. these homer simpson she said strands, it 50 times but when she, <laughs> said, she told it up front we had a whole pack it had to sign off on it everything she was very clear Mm. And what she wanted, she told us from day one, is three styles. You're going to pick one or three. That's it. But no fake hair. Wow. Oh. So my roll up in there with some fake hair. They didn't want How does show. she know? Like, she can just. If they know what they do. So they couldn't have I no mean, braids? Or right. <laughs> <laughs> we had three hairstyles. Wow. So but no, but, that was but some people, if you got braids, know that it's getting pulled back into a ponytail. Right. Okay. Or they'll tell you, like, they'll send you pictures, like, like a Pinterest board. Mm-hmm. These We want these type of hairstyles. These are different types of ponytails. Mm-hmm. Um, and they'll say, I know you. You know what I'm saying? You can do your own makeup because I know you'll be good. But that's going to make it less stressful on them show day. Mm-hmm. Like, they'll have some models where they be like, like, we know y'all know what y'all doing. Or, right. You, you know what I'm saying? Type of thing. But... Some people will be like, call time is 8 a.m. And mm-hmm. if you think you finish scrolling there at 1, you're not right. walking. Yeah. So we also, we all have to be respectful of each other's time. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> I came in, but I came in there, hair done, makeup done. I was You was ready. ready. You know what You're, I'm saying? I had, yeah. At the time, I was considered a seasoned model and I knew it was Mama Crystal. So, <laughs> so you also had to be mindful like as you're going in your career modeling like like, um it's different (laughs) in the high fashion um modeling they're not doing all of that you show up walks yes it's about your walk Mm -hmm. it's not about 15 twists and turns and all that they want a straight literal straight walk no, no expression on your face, nothing, because it's not about you. It's simply about the clothes. Yeah, and you not not getting a full beat. They not contouring, and it's none of that when you when you go. And same thing, like she said, if you arrive, your call time is eight. Because in New York, with everybody show up, just everybody come. Because this is the day of the show. Mm-hmm. Come in this room, and they literally be like. You, what size are you? Come with me. Yep. You, Sometimes it ain't no eight, rehearsals. It ain't no none of that. Ain't you, no they wow. us. And then when it's time to get ready, if she not where she's supposed to be at. And you got to oh, be prepared to be naked you, right okay. there. Mm-hmm. Where is the girl with the black shirt? Oh, no. That's sure. play with you. Ain't no go to the bathroom and change your clothes. Take your clothes on. Oh, right here, right like for real. Put <laughs> the, first model, time, the first time, the first time my son modeled with me, 
I said, now, son, these are grown women, okay? You're... <laughs> it's going to be ass and titties everywhere. <laughs> Glad. He's a young man. You know, yeah. well, he's 16 now, but at the time he was, what, 12, 13? You know, I'm like, look, but don't stare. It's going to be some men in there that are going to come in as men, but when they get dressed, they're going to come out as women. Yep. Don't stare. Like, you know what I'm saying? Be respectful. Yeah. And... I was a little scared because it's my child. And, but, <laughs> you know, he's very boisterous, but he was very, you know, but I, I pre warned him because that was his first time being in the show. Mm -hmm. So it is some shows where it's going to be just adults and it's going to be some shows where it's kids. So you have to be mindful too of I'm an adult. I'm free to talk how I want to, but I also want to be mindful that that's somebody's child over there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So just having a common courtesy too. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I love that. I love so that. Definitely decide like what direction you want to go. Like, I'm just me, my, I'm just like a straight model walk. Yeah, I be seeing um, people be modeling. They be doing all kinds of stuff. They be doing tricks. Yeah. I, <laughs> I'm like, what is if that? Show calls for that, I'm going to be like, that's why you can have fun. It's not necessarily my thing. Yeah. Like, I'm really like straight because I'm just there to sell the garment. That's mm -hmm. how I am. But, we have done shows where we had to do, you know, extra stuff. They didn't have me twerking on, on the stage. She, she oh. did. In, in March, yeah, she did. I did. So twerk, like, literally, <laughs> like, go out there and dance and jump it like it's hot. Like, she did it. Let me make sure my knees is going to work for the rest of the show. Yeah. yeah. Before we, you know, y'all don't mess with my knees before. I've had to walk in the show where I've walked for every single designer. Yep. Same. And wow. know your limits, because that show wore me out. Yeah, you'd be exhausted. I was you like, do they feed y'all? Sometimes you a grown, you an adult. So you gotta <laughs> eat. You gotta eat before you come, just in case and they might not feed you. Snacks. Snacks. Don't don't eat in the people's garments. Yeah, but once you put their clothes on, it's over for that. It's over. Don't don't mm -hmm. sit down. That's you should be sitting in people's um, garments. See, I'm too hungry to be modeling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you I'll have like, to have um, some snacks. Yeah, you I need can a have, snack yeah, now. Some snacks, but if so once you put the garments on, it's over. The snacks, I've, I've like definitely said, in been in a garment that um I could not sit at all. Like oh I couldn't move. Mm -hmm. It was it was you know I was sewn into it, and then when I came off the stage, I had to do a quick change. Yep, ripped it off, ripped it off, and then up. somebody in the audience. Um, oh my god, it was uh, King Kamaya. Mm -hmm. She was on uh, the show Stars. Okay, um, she wanted to buy the dress and she was like, Baby, where's the yellow dress? And I was like, Okay, on the floor. <laughs> so they had to redo it, but she was like, We need a quick change. So they literally had to rip me out the dress, wow. put me in another one. As I'm going on the stage, they zipped me up. So you got to be willing to do quick changes. Is you gonna rehearse for a month or two and the show gonna take 10 minutes? Wow, mm -hmm. wow. How should somebody prepare for an audition? I know you said you've been lucky enough to not have to, but you had to at one point. Um, do you think that that the process for that is something that you would encourage people to do now, like the way you started, or you got some, some other tips for it? Um, I was model coach by Crystal Stotts. Um, okay. And I 100% appreciate Crystal for everything yeah, she's shout done. Out for shout me. out to Crystal. Crystal. Um, because <laughs> even though I had some formal training back in the day, I was a child. Yeah. Um, Crystal poured the confidence yes, into yep, me. Yep. She did different levels. Like Crystal can train anybody. She sure can. Wow. Like, and she'll put you in front of a mirror. Like, now the walk you just did, walk and look at yourself. Did that look <laughs> cute? No. <laughs> All right. Start off a um, you know what I'm saying? So she she builds you up. Yeah. As you're walking. Uh, one of the things that she always told us, no matter what audition it is, they'll tell you on the flyer what they're looking for. Like mm -hmm. if they want you to wear a white t-shirt and some jeans, come in there with a white t-shirt and some yeah. jeans. Don't mm -hmm. come in there with pink, orange, and purple on. Right. A lot if they don't say come in there or they want to see your face. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 So, with clothes already made. Hey, some people are making them as they pick their models. Mm -hmm. um, so you want to make okay. sure that the clothes is showing off the best version of you. Um, you can wear makeup, but more of a light, natural beat, mm -hmm. um, hair pullback so that they can see who you are. Um, be okay? 
they gonna let them audition, but they gonna sometimes <laughs> they usually want them higher though, right? But, say, but sometimes if you read the flyer, it will tell you. Oh, some yeah. people Three say or higher. What type yeah. of heels? What uh, they'll say males come in these clean tennis shoes. Mm -hmm. They'll say women come in this. They'll say the age. Um, if there is um specifics on age, they will tell mm -hmm. you. Sometimes they say come on time. Yeah. Or sometimes they might be like, we hear from three to six, just beginning. Yeah. And your packets to fill everything out. They only gonna say it once or twice. And once they start auditioning, right? The door is locked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And wow. you just slide in, baby. Well, you're not <laughs> and we see them kitten heels too. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you auditioning in some kitten heels, they thinking in their mind that's not the look we're going for. And, and yeah, and, walk, or you, you know, might right. not know how to walk right. in some heels. And, right. certain, and certain people want you to walk a certain way. Crystal taught us one way, mm -hmm. and that was in my brain. Like, okay, when I go up there, I'm doing this. I'm posing. I'm t posing. Yep. I'm doing this. When I go to the front, I'm giving them same three poses. Yep. Hey, my name is. How you doing? Yep. Goodbye. That was in my brain. Yep. Yeah, I've done same. other shows, and they like, baby mm -hmm. girl, we're not doing that. So you got to be willing to be diverse in whoever yep. you're working with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I work with Gigi, very oh, uh, yes. dope um, designer here love, in Milwaukee. Love, Gigi, they Deborah tell us y'all walking in <laughs> singles, and we want the runway. <laughs> Not in Gigi's room. Oh, no. I want y'all to walk in doubles. In scene, oh, wow. Gigi, see, I would love to see this. Gigi be like, you never seen Gigi? No, I've never seen it. I want you to walk. And as you walk in, see. her outfits transform. So she, she'll yeah. bring you the garment and be like, I need you to take about six steps. And as you're walking, I need you to pull this and flip yep. it. I head down and it turns into a whole nother dress. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, drop dress. Oh. Yeah. Oh. You know what I'm saying? You That's gotta dope. Be, you yes, please invite me, y'all. So, yeah. But I do want to go back to Crystal because you, you triggered something in my memory. I was, I did get back into my little Crystal, and mm -hmm. she was like, You need the mob. And at that time, she I was you. like, yeah, 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 Crystal. Okay, whatever. I'm doing poetry right now. And then she like, I see her. You need to model. You know what I mean? Every yeah. time she sees me, she's like, you need to model. You're a model. But, so that's how I how I really, really got back in was because of Crystal. So I love I that. have to give her her. Uh, Sometimes somebody you know, giving you a push is all you need. Yeah, she For did. Sure. She 100% spoke life into me. And then she she continued. And then Gigi was the other person that really, that really helped me. Yeah. Because when I first walked, she was like, girl, take them shoes off. <laughs> Gigi will be real with you. Like, she was like, girl, take them shoes off. You can't walk in them shoes. Get rid of them. <laughs> yeah. You know, it does take that. Like, Put these on. Yep, you got it. And Gigi was the one who also, between Gigi and Crystal, they are the ones who really perfected my walk. Nice. So I have to definitely give them credit. Yeah. Let's go. I'm going to clap for those ladies. Even, um, I, I had the opportunity to be, um, a model for different boutiques around the city. Mm -hmm. Um, I walked in one show in Rochelle's fashion boutique. She was yes. like, I need you to be my staple model. Like, mm -hmm. I would be somewhere and people were like, You're the girl off of what's name website? I used to mm -hmm. be like, Mm -hmm. I want to try this, but I'm scared. Okay. Yeah. I love how Crystal. Uh, she gets she recapped and everything. Yes, I love that. <laughs> I, I seen this on, on the TikTok shop. Oh. She snapped. You see her recapping? Mm -hmm. all the yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was talking. I didn't yes. see. Yeah. <laughs> I get crystal crystal. So even as a design, you want to reach out to Crystal. So she not here. No design. Uh, Shout out to Crystal Ship. Yes, Crystal. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. All the comments.
comments are so helpful. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so Eric, Fashion Con. Yes, I'm excited. <laughs> so how did that come to be? Um, Honestly, kind of like, I don't really be putting myself out too much. Like somebody would like tag me or something or like you inbox me, mm -hmm. which I am going to start reaching out more. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but somebody tagged me under the post. I didn't even know Rachel or Erica, um, the two girls that are having mm -hmm. the show. Yeah, um, I was gonna say shout out to Rachel and Erica. She's nine, she's nine eleven. I love her energy. Oh my god, she's amazing. She does have dope somebody energy. tagged me in the blue of a person and not paying attention at first. I didn't even know I was in it because I'm like, I signed the document and I'm like, okay, we're just signing and then maybe they'll see. So I sent this to my friend and she was like, no, you're you're a designer in the show, and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really excited. It I is it. on June 30th, but it's a two-day first on the 29th is at Slush. It's called like a fashion hour. Mm -hmm. So you just gotta come and slay. And then the 30th is the actual show. And, and it's that's the all white. white. <laughs> <laughs> and Rachel. Yes, shout out to Rachel. <laughs> Erica and Fashion Con, you said June 30th, right? Yes. June 30th, y'all. If y'all don't got y'all tickets, go ahead. If you and go tap on my in. page, if I'm tagged on the live or on Erica or Rachel's page, the link will be somewhere for the tickets. Awesome. Awesome. And we can drop that in there too later on. Uh, in case anybody wants to go ahead and participate. Yeah. Definitely I mean, something I know that's, that's gonna be a dope show. I know a lot yes. of designers and models that's gonna be in that. I'm so <laughs> they're gonna do it again. They're gonna keep doing they it. Gonna they gonna have another one. Be they're gonna have to run it oh, back. Yeah. yeah, she has to. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. they gotta do it. They gotta do it again. Um, I was gonna ask you, like, do you know what your role is so far in like my theme? Yeah. Um, I or think is I can say. It. I was gonna I say. Can, <laughs> I mean, I don't see why not. <laughs> um, but one of the guys there actually helped me with my name because I told them I wanted to do um high fashion like couture. They was like, You need to be more specific. I was mm -hmm. like, Okay, hold on, let me think. <laughs> um, so you guys said his name earlier. Yes, Lee Van. he had helped me. Like I already oh, okay. Yeah. But um, so he looked, I showed him my dresses, I showed him my birthday dress because I did like basically Rapunzel, like how I would do it modern day. Okay, it was a brown it. dress, it had jewels. And then I had a braid all the way down to the floor. Ooh, that so, um, so pretty. that's the dress I had showed him. And he was like, Yeah, your your like work gives fairy tale vibes. So that's I was so like, amazing. okay, because Ooh. I really do use my imagination. Like when I'm making stuff, I really imagine something and bring it to life. Yes. So my theme is gonna be called Princess Nior. Ooh. Because Nior means black. I was like, okay, period. Let's so go. I'm really excited. That's that is so exciting. Yes. Ooh, I can't wait to. To all come together and then you do it. Let's go. Let's it, work. We spoke it here on my, on my podcast. <laughs> 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 it's going to happen with these, these ladies. Wow. I'm just so like happy for all of you. Y'all are living the dream. Like seriously, literally themselves. Mm -hmm. And and now y'all have given that to so many other people who would be interested in doing what y'all are doing. And they just been scared or yeah. they just didn't think they had it or, you know, whatever the reason. Like, y'all just really put life into other yeah. people. Yeah, I try to live my life with without the regrets. Yeah. Because I what I want to do is when I'm on my deathbed or whatever, say to the bed, whatever the situation is going to be. Mm -hmm. And dream about all of this crazy stuff that I did that I didn't think that I could do. I'm going to be all that I didn't dreams. know. Because <laughs> I don't want to lay in there and say, dang, I, right. I should have. I would have. Mm -hmm. I wish I would have. I don't. That's not how I want to live. I yeah. Wanna be like, girl, you was doing way too much. But, <laughs> like, these don't work still, now. But you, you did it. And now, so I want to take those things with me. Yes, you only so, get one there, life, so it's like, life. why not? That's, don't I say it all the time? You got one life. You yeah, live it. You got one time. A lot of mistakes, and I'm not doing that. Mm -hmm. I I love that. Like we all need to be thinking like that, you know. And even if you try something and you fail at it, you know, 
keep going, keep practicing. Like you said, keep practicing, keep trying. Try again. And maybe it might not be that exact thing that maybe you wanted to do, but then you know, you find some other too. things connected mm-hmm. to it that right that mm-hmm. you love. Mm-hmm. So, you know, just try. That's really what it comes to. Just try. Can't hurt. Don't try. give up. <laughs> just try. Yes, Crystal said you got one life. Live it. And thank you for dropping the event bright oh, link in there for Fashion Time. Okay. <laughs> right, <sis. laughs> Let's clap for her. <laughs> Ladies, we got Candace in the comments. She hey, says, good girl. evening, ladies. Hello. Hey, Candace. Now, Candace, she told me earlier uh, that she was excited about this show. And me and you had talked, um, what about body types and how to properly dress your body type? Mm-hmm. I'll be okay. on Pinterest and you see them like, oh, you should wear yeah. a wrap yes. dress. Or if you got, if your body like this, you should wear it. So it's different body shapes and sizes and things. Does that really apply? That. I used you to said my face all twisted up. I used to believe that. Okay. Wear whatever you want to wear. Wear what you want to wear. Wear what you want to wear. It's their nightmare. If they don't if like it, want, don't if look. If they don't like it, don't look. Close your eyes. It's, it's a whole, whole bunch of other stuff you don't like. Like, don't look. That's I don't like that. It's their nightmare. <laughs> but I absolutely love. Yeah. This one lady, her clothes is crazy. But I love it because she being her she's authentic herself. self. Yes. Like she gonna put on a, a little a little bitty bra with a big old skirt and a hat and then a bow over here. And, <laughs> but that's her. So yeah. She has two different color socks and some shoes that's shaped like a frog. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's her thing. That's her. Yeah. And, and it looks good on her. All, all the time. Because yeah. I love her because she is being her. Yeah. And I know people probably look at her crazy you know what i mean she dressed for an interview she had a whole clown suit outfit on <laughs> but i love wow. her she was just being her so i feel like be you like i love i'm a, i will put on camouflage and some cheetah in a heartbeat and you know what that stripes. actually sounds nice i will wear that that yeah. i like that i like that be you do you yes quit worrying about like me this is what i hate my arms i'm very insecure about my arms and uh, lately i've been like girl Right. They fat in your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> they still don't be fat outside the shirt. Take that, take that jacket off. It's eighty degrees, girl. Quit worrying about what people think. Quit. Sometimes pe- people don't even notice. It's us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. We worried about it. We putting that stuff out there. People don't care. We in a time where people don't care. Just be you. Do you dress how you want to dress? Be do whatever you want to do. You oh, only right. got one life. Let's clap. <laughs> the question dress, i was going to ask dress she wanted to ask oh because she's not curvy how to dress? yeah she said i'm not a curvy girl i feel like her like wear that what you want to wear if you mm-hmm. also want to go by what they say you should wear go for that me i'm just gonna do me i don't mm-hmm. care like i have a mm-hmm. short torso and long legs that's how i look mm-hmm. so my legs are gonna look long naturally yeah. so i'm not gonna try to make an illusion right if it looked like that one day like it's longer maybe it was that day with what i had on but i'm yeah. not gonna purposely try to do that every time like i just mm-hmm. wear what i want if yes it's cute to me I, i'm gonna wear it. if yeah. you don't like it oh well that's how it is too <laughs> and you know what's crazy though when you're looking when you're going out and you shop and you're looking for clothes it's been times i'm like okay i'm gonna get a large and then it's like, oh nope, you were extra large. I'd be like, damn, that was just a large. Like, <laughs> what happened? Slender, boom, you gotta be trans. Also, slender. all sizes yeah. are different. Yeah, like, on the they brand. all different. Yeah. Yeah. That's I crazy to me. Dress your confidence. If yeah. my confidence level is high today, first of all, I'm gonna pop my shit every single time. That's right. But yeah. depending on my confidence level, like you depends said, on what you are, wear. It depends on what I'm gonna wear. Like some days I'd be like, mm, not today. I might throw on the jacket, but then. Uh, other days it's like girl good day yeah i'm gonna dress my confidence that's level. actually key too like i feel like that don't wear something if you're not confident because it's gonna show yeah. like people are yeah. gonna tell if you're not yeah. confident with what you have on yeah. i was gonna Absolutely. say and things that fit because i remember one day i put on well i've done this before put on something and it felt good at home but then when i got outside it felt too big i'm like why did this fit me at home but now it's not fitting and me and get you some friends that's gonna be honest be with you. honest with you yeah Mm-hmm. We quick to be like, are we dressing to homeless today? Yeah. Or, we, or, we, or we popping out, right? Because 
I would hate to be the friend because I'm always like, I'm going to pop out and then my friends be looking homeless. And I'd be like, absolutely not. Like, girl, we got to, we, we either both got to be homeless or we both got to be popping our mess. <laughs> not homeless. I will literally be like, what you wearing? No, let me see it. <laughs> no, try again. Like, get you some friends that's going to be honest with you. Yeah. Because I don't want to go out and we all looking good and then one friend look a mess. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, you just had on one friend. She, she had on a grandma dress. This I school. went to church. And then they decided because remember that's when I was living in Racine, so I couldn't run home and change clothes. Yeah. So I had on like church clothes, and we went to R and B live. R and B live. Oh my god! R and B live with my church clothes. <laughs> I tried to tell her. That's it hilarious. Oh, All she really needed was a belt to clinch in her waist. Like you I have to learn. <laughs> Later, I would I cinch the sweater because I had I did have uh, and get you a whole bag. Have you something in a car? I was just thinking, like you got to get you an emergency bag now. After that, yeah. uh, or after that, you better have <laughs> right one in the car with a couple right. basic right. essentials. Right. I'm I'm really big on following people on social lives. media that um inspire me to dress different and step outside my comfort zone yes um i think it's your fashion best friend on um instagram and then tilly i can't remember her last name but they do storyboards of all different types of fashion like this is the what's popping for spring or uh your fashion best friend she be like girl i'm gonna wear what the fuck i want to wear <laughs> and yeah. she'd be like i'm going to walmart but she dressed down like yes. you ain't going to a concert right so even just having those people that are inspirations to you to, mm -hmm. you know what yeah. I'm saying, to be like, I can do that too. Like constantly yeah. have those positive reinforcements. I love yeah. that. Because I'm saving True. all y'all clothes. Like, oh, that's cute. Ooh, I'll that's be on cute. Pinterest doing that. I'm saving well, all y'all stuff and I'm remaking it. We can go on Pinterest, but I can name y'all two people right here in the city of Milwaukee. Name. Rachel Lewis. Yes. And her um, niece, uh, Drea, I think her yeah, Drea, right. not Drea. Right. I think she's like, oh, yeah, yes, right. yes. I've seen you, her. Yeah, I met her before too. They cool, they, they are so really cool. know how to put some clothes together. Put some clothes together. I Seriously. went to uh, and they got two different styles too. Yes, I went mm -hmm. to Rachella last year, and um, mm -hmm. her outfit was just yes. it was denim with like rhinestones mm -hmm. all over it. Yep. She, she loves pop color, like, yeah. I feel the same she, thing about like Z Z Stephanie. Is that how you pronounce her name? Oh, yeah, Z she's Stephanie. she's yes. A, I ain't got no chest, but she's a, she's dark skin and she's a plus size girl. She's taller than me, but I'll look at her and be like, that looks good on her body type. Mm. Look, you know what I'm saying? Start thinking yeah. about that too. Like, oh, well, her body type is similar to mine. Right. Good. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Versus being like, because yeah. I can stand in the mirror and be like, I'm an apple. Bitch, I'm a pear. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It just depends. So <laughs> start looking at people and being like, well, that, that looks good on their body type. Yeah. And YouTube is your friend. It is. Yeah. I learned a lot on of YouTube stuff doing that. I'm gonna find that they shopping at Walmart, Target. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Find up and, yeah. and then follow the people that are doing the get ready with me. Is that shops in the places that you can afford? Right. That yeah. actually brings me to the next topic. Let's talk about styling versus wearing, because you can I can have on the same thing as you, but they do that. They be like, who wore it best? Yeah. You know, they'll they'll put them up yeah. against each other. I, I actually love seeing that because mm -hmm. it's like, oh, they wore it like this. They wore it like this. They wore it better. No, you know, like and they wore it better. On where you going yeah. and how you feeling that day too. Yeah. Yeah. You know? So of, now it's a lot of accessorize. For sure. Now, like, I see, you know, like a lot of necklaces. Glasses. Yeah. Like, yeah. I What's your I'll say earrings because I have to have I feel like a boy if I don't wear earrings. Like <laughs> I feel like I look different. I do. I feel naked. And I and I love hoops. Hoops are my thing. Mm -hmm. So I'll say earrings. I think okay. I love that. <laughs> I like them all. I like all of them too. But Jackie if I had to pick to one. Like I, I would say, um, I thought I was styling before, but watching your fashion best friend, she shows you how to yeah. upstyle some stuff. And yeah. you be like, so that little star, I mm -hmm. can really make that one little thing pop and that's my shoes or, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and make it your business to go out and buy that one bright accessory to mm -hmm. and build an outfit on and that. Bring so, things together. I'm, 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 
whatever it is, it got to be colorful. Like, I, I really, want that one piece of colorful pop. I like to match my shoes with my handbag. Okay, like, red today. bag. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I, but I think sometimes I'm afraid to try certain things because it's like, like, <laughs> I suck like, at uh, returning shit. Well, I do too. I, I hate got returning shit that I just stuff. I don't keep, know and it's like now I just got right. a bunch of shit I never wear. What about like I gotta a stop that. Bag and a solid shoe. I would do that too. Mm -hmm. I would do that. I mean, that's could be where you could start start changing or stuff. Like. Shoe mm -hmm. in a solid bag, just to kind of help you know ease you into it yeah yeah we gotta give in per se like say it don't i'm not wearing that color in the outfit mm -hmm. i'll still wear it like just the pop, just the pop. yeah yeah I've, I've definitely done that too i fuck with it I um with it. i know a lot of people <laughs> who have like a color scheme for they they closet or they wardrobe like they like all the neutrals so yes. it's always like having like that capsule wardrobe so you kind of know like I can wear this one top all of these different ways and i can yeah. style it different ways mm -hmm. so like you can wear the same shirt and I do that all like the, the time. Should have took off them pants. The issue, it went from shirt to dress. <laughs> oh, I do stuff all the time. I'll wear it one way, and then I be already having an idea on when I wear it again. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna switch it up. Yeah, I get on my mama nerves when we go to the mall because I have a way. Like a, it's in my mind, I'm going to wear this, and I will look at every store for exactly those things. Mm -hmm. And if I can't find them, I ain't going. <laughs> Let me yeah, tell you, angle. it's hard to because find what you want. Like, I hate in your that. head. That's why I make stuff. Mm -hmm. And you know what, girl, <laughs> I'm gonna learn how to make some shit. Listen, I got the to. moment I learn how to sew because I've been saving jeans, right? Because I don't wear jeans. Yeah, because they don't fit, you know, properly. It's either too big around the waist or you know whatever. So I got jeans for days. Yeah, and I'm just waiting till I can sew. Because I'm gonna have on um, some jeans, and I'm just gonna be like a pair of this jeans from when I was this mm -hmm. age. And a pair of this, because it has Ooh. to pop a little bit, like my son, like a patchwork type. I was yeah. just gonna say that Ooh, I do that son, all the time. Um, a couple pair of his jeans when he was little, he would grow them. I actually made earrings mm -hmm. before, like wow. taking his jeans, cutting them up. It was some cardboard, literally some cardboard, and I just wrapped the jeans around yeah. it all different kind of ways. Was like, you yeah. follow them on the Yes, yeah, she do a lot. I'm gonna take some here. pants and I'm gonna cut them in half and wear it as a shirt. Do <laughs> it. You ain't even really gotta cut it. We might do it. Yeah, I love that. I'm gonna do some shit. Do what? it. Do you ain't got a blue jean jacket. Get your jeans and put your arms through the uh, the, uh, the legs part. Do it. I see somebody take a button up corporate type shirt mm -hmm. and flip it upside down. Yeah, it's plenty of YouTube videos. I'm like, what? The I'm telling you, make it strapless. You button it yes. up, make it strapless. Yep. The collar flip here and you tie it. Or, yeah, I'd be so impressed i'll be so i've definitely been places where like i ain't got nothing to wear i got this okay we gonna change it up and, and put a little safety pin so i don't yes. show my, my cheeks it's a yeah. skirt now let's I'm go i'm not <laughs> yeah i need help with styling that's not my strong point i stood here and that's okay that's why we gotta go shopping <laughs> yeah, really i like i know my style but it's i'm not yeah 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 like i look decent but it's not like it, i'm probably haven't got to the point where how i really want to dress yeah yeah and so, i want to yeah. get to that point i'm with you mm -hmm. i'm not a, i'm not there yet like i think i'm gonna look nice when i go somewhere but i feel like i just look nice when I go mm -hmm. somewhere. it ain't necessarily me so so you still trying to figure that so part are you out. trying to figure out your personal style then more of my personal style mm -hmm. and and stay consistent with that yeah i think i get caught up in work i let work get me caught up in a lot because i don't i don't want to get dressed for but i have to remember that i'm not trying for work that's for me you're doing to it for you yeah maybe if i if i if i look better i'm gonna feel better. they getting them leggings yeah. and sweatpants and t-shirts sorry i work in I'm, yeah. I'm a forklift driver, so they be like, "You, you gotta model? be comfortable then." Shit, really? You actually yeah, comb your yeah, hair? I don't walk around looking like a model all day, every day. I don't know. I don't want to do that. They don't even think I comb my hair at know. work. <laughs> 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 they be like, "I thought I seen your Facebook page. It wasn't me." <laughs> well, yeah, Candace said, uh, uh, "She's she's the same way. She, she's still trying to find her style." Let us help you, Crystal. Yeah. 
I love this. I feel like uh, we're going to do this again. And then maybe we can we can actually bring some pieces of yours next time. I would love that. Uh, yeah, I think that'd be awesome. Okay. That'd be awesome. A little impromptu fashion show. Ooh. Ooh. Right. That's what I was thinking today because I, I went back to my post like, should I bring some meat? Well, ladies, this has been a great time. I really appreciate y'all coming. Like, y'all really dropped some gems. Y'all dropped some gems. I got a clap for y'all again for the gems. <laughs> yes, yes. I hope y'all enjoyed tonight's show. And we're going to run this back in the future. We're going to run this back and we're going to give y'all some more of the stuff to look forward to in fashion and modeling and design. Um, Because they got it. All y'all got it. And maybe next time y'all see me, I'll be wearing some zebra stripes with some polka dots <laughs> and, uh, and some lime green. Right. <laughs> I believe hey. my head like that's a dope fit. Hey, that's see, the said. zebra with the lime green. That's what I was thinking. Let's go. Like, yeah. uh, see, look, I love them. See, they, they. <laughs> I do got some lime green heels. I do love me And we gonna help each other. We gonna help each other. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. So much erica you're welcome i look forward to seeing all the amazing things that you are going to do ladies i just want to fuck with y'all we like this so yes, ma'am. Yeah. i want to i'm gonna i want feedback on all the things y'all got coming um because that's that's amazing so yeah to everybody out there don't quit that was the message for don't tonight <laughs> be yourself do you do you, you do what makes you comfortable what makes you confident right Mm -hmm. Um, the world is your yes, runway. Yes, yes. The way you got one life, live that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> period. 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 All right. And thanks for watching. This is uh, Mind of My Own Podcast. I'm your host, Kenda, and I will see.